Welcome back students to module number 6 towards effective leadership and today we are going to talk about the second part of behavioral theories. In our previous discussion we started talking about behavioral theories and we have talked about Ohio State University research and the findings. Today we are going to talk about the Michigan State University studies and the findings and the discussion about that. Around the same time as Ohio State studies, at the same time that they were conducted, researchers at the University of Michigan were also focusing on the behaviors which are characteristic of effective leaders. And they came up with more or less similar results. Studying leaders in a number of large industrial organizations, the Michigan researchers found that successful leaders tended to exhibit patterns of behavior that were labeled by them as task oriented which is sometimes also called as production oriented and the second one is relationship oriented which is also referred to as employee oriented. Let us go one by one. We talked about two types of behavioral patterns. One is task oriented, the second is relationship oriented. So task oriented behaviors are concentrated on performing the job that the work group faces and thus are similar to those of initiating structure factor. Uh, I recall your memory to Ohio State studies, we talked about initiating structure in Ohio group studies. Now the leader here is concerned with setting work standards, supervising the job and meeting the production goals. On the other hand there is what is called as this relationship oriented behaviors which include showing concern for employees well being and involving them in decision making processes. May I ask you what does this remind you from Ohio State Universities? I hope you know the answer. Now let us look at a diagrammatic representation of University of Michigan studies. As you are seeing the University of Michigan studies indicate two types of leadership behavioral patterns. One is employee centered and the other is production centered and leaders under employee centered behavioral patterns, they are interested in their subordinates as people, encourage worker participation in the organizational goal setting process and leaders in production centered behavioral pattern emphasized technical aspects of the job, set job standards, close supervision of the subordinates is done over here. So in 1940s, the leadership effectiveness was dependent upon leader behavior and then Michigan studies surface two forms of leader behavior, job centered or production centered and employee centered and an attempt was made to balance task and relationship emphasis over here. Now moving on from here, we will talk about what is called managerial or leadership grid. This was developed by Blake and Morton. Two dimensions which were similar to Michigan or Ohio State studies are looked at in this. There is a concern for subordinates and there is a concern for production or results and there is what is called a 9-9 which is the ideal team approach on grid balance of task and relationship. We will be seeing a diagrammatic representation of this shortly. This research influenced the modern contingency approaches that we are going to talk about shortly. So students you are able to see the grid that I have talked about over here. You see that there is a concern for results and there is a concern for people. So when you are low on concern for people and concern for results, then you are placed over here. If you are high on concern for results, but low on concern for people, then you are placed here. You may be high on concern for people, but low on concern for results, then you are placed here. However, the ideal situation is high concern for people and high concern for results. This is the most ideal kind of situation. Very often people balance somewhere here on the average. That is how there may be a low task, low relationship orientation. We have seen it here, 1 and 1. There may be high relationship and low task orientation. There may be high task but low relationship orientation. There may be high task, high relationship orientation which we have seen here. So these are the four leadership styles which 
Mountain and Blake have talked about in their model. Expanding upon the same, the picture here shows the interpretation. If we look at concern for production over here and concern for people over here, remember the one one that is low concern for people and low concern for production, then there is impoverished management. So, this one and one or impoverished management, it shows an exertion of minimum effort to get required work done as appropriate to sustain the organizational membership. So, this one one which I have talked to you about in the earlier slides over here, the same one one. Now, I am showing it to you in a diagrammatic in a more detailed form, it is called impoverished management and then you may be high on concern for production, but low on concern for people which brings you to 9 1. So, this is called authority compliance management, only production or task is emphasized upon whereas, people are not concerned about. On the other hand, you may have high concern for people but then low concern for the task and this is called country club management. On the other hand, the ideal situation that we have been talking about the 9 9 that is high on concern and high on production orientation together, this is called team management. However, there is something called a middle of the road management which is 5 5, everything is average over here. The primary difference between Ohio State University and University of Michigan studies was that Michigan University studies have considered relationship oriented leader behavior as more effective than task oriented leadership behavior. The findings of one of the most famous studies on Michigan University studies has indicated that both task oriented and relationship oriented leadership behavior patterns were positively related to work group performance. However, subordinates of relationship oriented leaders tended to be more satisfied and had lower turnover rates than employees who were managed by task oriented leaders. Now, this study I recall your attention to what we have talked about in Ohio State studies as well, there were similar results which studies have shown. Now, let us go for an evaluation of behavioral theories of leadership. Overall, the initiating structure of Ohio State studies is the task orientation of Michigan State studies and consideration behavior of Ohio State studies has been relationship orientation in Michigan studies. So, these seem to be reliable dimensions describing leader behavior in both the studies. The two dimensions represent very different types of leader behavior, yet both have been linked to effective leadership. If we believe the universalist contention that there is one set of effective leader characteristic or one best leadership style, then such divergent leader behaviors simply cannot represent a single effective leader. In other words, a task oriented leader might be effective in certain situations under specific circumstances, a relationship oriented leader might be effective in yet another situation. I would recommend that you watch certain videos which are available on net to understand this theory of leadership better. I have given you one link. In addition to that, I would also request you to identify the relevance of the findings of these studies which we have discussed as relevant to Indian settings. That brings us to the conclusion of lecture. We have talked about the second part of behavioral theories and in the next lecture, we will be talking about contingency theories. Thank you.